complex and more interesting than we realize, and it's something that we wanted to take on tonight and bring you uh, a version that's not usually heard on the radio. We go to Toby in Virginia. Hi, Toby. You're on with James Wright. Hey, Clyde. Um, I'm, uh, I've called a couple times, and your show tonight, is, <laughs> it, it, it disturbed me a little bit. I'm trying to figure out exactly what you guys are saying. Are the St. Clair's of Satan is what you're saying? I'm not saying that. No, 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 no not at all. That's a no, holy family. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, aren't you a St. Clair, okay, okay. James? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir, I am. No, James is a St. Clair. Toby, are you I'm a St. Clair? Clair? Okay, well, you're both St. Clairs. Congratulations. Shake hands. Your family. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure out when what y'all are saying because I mean it kind of scared me a little bit no. you know especially especially with the way that the government you know doing these uh, wanting to do genetic testing why you know it's like what well what? this is why part I guess this is a, do that? Toby this is an adjunct so, to the show about the DNA testing and, and why people are so fascinated and fixed on genealogies and DNA and bloodlines and I I thought that it was time to open up I guess you could say the old wound, so to speak, and uh, and decide if it, if it certainly was going to bleed or if we were going to see some remarkable revelations. And I think we've covered a lot of remarkable revelations tonight, going to a source that, such as we have. And I'm a, I'm sorry, Toby, if we misled you into thinking that a Saint Clair name was a satanic name. That wasn't my intention. Right. My intention is basically saying that. You know, when you're listening to all these people telling you that there's certain bloodlines that are genetically satanic, I have to stop and say, I, I don't know if that's possible, uh, but we need to open up our minds a little bit to what the Illuminati truly is, and that is a hierarchy below, uh, uh, above the very hierarchy that we point fingers at when we look at conspiracy history. While we do have controllers that are immediately identifiable, like the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds and all those, we have many others that are not even talked about, and the reason why is because we can't label them because they're beyond the pale, they're beyond the realms of anything that we can comprehend right right yeah my grandmother did uh, research on our family history and from what i understand it goes all the way back to um what was that movie um ah uh, it was with mel gibson it was uh um bruce uh what was his name the bruce uh, i don't know i can't I can't remember. Anyway, it was... Um, Robert DeBruce. Robert DeBruce, yeah. Rob, yeah, yeah. it goes all the way back to Robert DeBruce, yeah. Okay. So I, I don't know if that has anything to do with what you're talking about, but it did kind of uh, unnerve me a little bit when you all were kind of relating, you know, the elite. Well, Toby, you know, I'm, I'm glad you asked and that you didn't... Uh, uh, didn't uh, accuse. That's always nice to ask rather than accusing because it's like, right. no, we're not. We're not trying to malign anyone. We're trying to give clarification. Is what we're trying to do. Right. 